obviously I was talking on this podcast recently about wanting to buy some Supreme products from the recent drop. And I had my eye on the Iraq collaboration that they had. And obviously, uh, you know, most of you guys will know I'm a flipping big fan of Iraq in general and what Kunle has done. And obviously, you know, the other members, RIP Sace and whatnot, just generals of graffiti crew and the things they put over the years. It's probably one of my first introductions to flipping graffiti actually through streetwear. It's why I probably maybe ride for streetwear so hard because, you know, it's basically gave me everything I have in life in terms of interest and personality and whatnot has kind of come through the lens of streetwear from skate videos to skateboarding to design to furniture design to flipping interior design to architecture to movies everything I've kind of got through the lens of streetwear for references one way or the other has kind of come through that it's been really cool to see business stuff like all of it's come through that yeah so it's been quite cool so anyway I saw the Iraq stuff liked it wanted to get it but then I guess they were smart too because they kept seeding it to cool looking people online. I kept seeing people talking about it in comments on like, you know, the accounts like Supreme Drops and whatnot. And it felt like it was getting hyped. I was like, damn it. I didn't think I was being hyped. I didn't think Iraq were like the hyped graffiti crew of the scene or I didn't think people cared about it as much as I did. But obviously they did, which is probably why Supreme could collaborate with them. But um, the the interest started to build up and I was like, damn, man. And I saw a leak about the gloves not really being that, you know, not me, not many of them being made or not many of them being available on the first drop. I was like, oh, I'm only going to try once, you know, realistically. I'm not going to be on my computer or phone all the time checking for drops and stuff. I'm going to try when they drop the first release and then if I can't get them, then I'm just going to be done with it. But I really wanted to get the IRAC and mechanic gloves because obviously some of you know, I bought a bike and I've been riding that quite often now. And I have that kind of in my kind of daily cardio stuff that I do. And it's a, basically a fixie. And I've been wearing at the moment these kind of classic mechanic gloves. I had another pair, but I lost them. But I've been wearing these kind of classic black mechanic gloves with the sort of print on the outside, kind of similar to what Sting would have wore back in the day when you dressed. I'm not sure if he still wears them, but they basically come with like writing the mechanic on them. And usually you wear them black and white, but I just had the black and black ones. And obviously, uh, Rack put their collaboration out and I really wanted them and I was lucky enough to get them on the day of release, lucky enough. Um, the website was being a bit buggy and whatnot, but overall, I was able to get on the website. No, I think I got out all the, off my phone, off of the, on the, flipping the, the mobile version of the site, which obviously worked far better than the desktop version for some reason. I was able to cut them and get them in the post and now they've arrived, so here they are the Iraq and Supreme Mechanic Gloves. And the model is different because I actually thought they were based on this model that I have here, which is, I don't know what, what model it's actually because I cut off the label, but I thought it was going to be based on that model, but it's not. It's a different type of model. And if anything, I'm a little bit disappointed on the quality because I, I, I don't know why, but I assumed it would be a better print, but essentially it feels like a digital, is it, yeah, so it feels like a digital print of some extent. I thought maybe the fabric would be, I don't know, I just had a different idea of what the fabric would look like, but it's a little bit more digital printed, I guess because it's made of neoprene or whatever this material is, but you've got this kind of, you know, Iraq motif kind of splayed all over it with loads of kind of little supreme little hits here and there, but that's essentially what it is. So for $40 or for £40, they're a little bit, you know, a little bit expensive for what they are but for someone like myself that's going to be getting a lot of use out of these i'm going to be wearing these flipping every single day that i'm riding my bike so you know i'm clearly the target audience for something like this and i'm, and I'm also going to be doing a little dj mix hopefully soon no, hopefully on friday where i'm going to be wearing these as well zooming into them so you can be able to see the action as i flip in play and so that's going to be a bit of good content to put out there wearing these sort of things too so and i think because uh, i still regret not getting the flipping franklin supreme batting gloves from last season the ones that came in like white black and red like oh so good and they're like 170 pound or something now so i'm happy that i've kind of got these i really really am so these came in the post over the moon with them yeah, of course, the standard thing i got to do later on is I'll take out the tag and cut this. It's got this really long wash tag thing that I don't need to have on there. It's annoying every time you put it on. Nice little hang tag reg there. But I would have liked a little bit more detail, like, you know, like little splatters of Supreme, maybe two maybe two labels here would be would have been nice maybe a little supreme box logo here on the table just something they just look like you know what they look like they look like if mechanic had an id system like imagine mechanic had an id little thing where you could basically get gloves and you could select your own colors and put prints on them or whatnot and then get them sent to you in six weeks this is what it looked like it looked like this jeremy there's nothing really that different I guess if you was to this base model, if I was to go and buy this base model, I bet you it's, it's the same. There's no difference in terms of 
the usually Supreme do that though when they collaborate they usually change little things but maybe Supreme this is Supreme saying hey this version this base model of this glove is good we're just going to add our brand into it but the base version is the best glove you're going to get but I would I don't know I would have preferred a little bit more do you know what I mean but uh, overall not too bad and then of course in the packet because I only just bought those um, I got this in terms of sticker packs I got the Mark Gonzalez Supreme Team thing got this weird um, picture of some woman's bum I'm not sure if that girl's underage or not but it looks really sus and then I've got a red box logo ticker as red box logo sticker in there also so i'll be able to stick on those on my things soon rather soon rather soon but yeah those are the gloves that i copped happy i got them happy i got